We're here to make a statement as teachers, support staff, that we don't think academising our school will improve the life chances and the outcomes of our children that we teach. Our demand is very simple. We expect the council, the Department of Education, the Regional Schools Commissioner to do due diligence. And due diligence is when you really scrutinise whether or not an organisation is fit to run a public service. Our view is we've done our due diligence and we've drawn the conclusion they aren't. Last Wednesday when the council were planning the process of conversion, which can take many, many months, they actually postponed that decision because they felt the due diligence had not been done thoroughly. So that's a very encouraging sign to us that our local council understands how serious the matter is. New managements take over schools and it's extremely easy to bring a school down. It's very, it's very easy for the powers that be to collude in making a school seem to be underachieving. Chair of Governors, Christine Watford, brought in the University Schools Trust to improve the school. Christine Watford has worked with Graham Price, who's the CEO of the UST. And then Ofsted came in. The Ofsted report comes back, we're uh, inadequate and we're into a forced academisation position. And the next day, the UST are named as our sponsor. The very next day, Christine Watford immediately, once the Ofsted report came out, left. The UST has only been in existence uh, for a couple of years. Financially, it's not viable. We've got a, it's very top heavy. We've got a lot of senior leadership who are taking a lot of money out of these schools, and so they need more pupils. To keep this whole ball rolling, they've got to expand, and they've got to expand rapidly. Obviously, we were next on their list. The customization so far has cost something like two billion pounds just in admin costs. And yet our schools are crippled with cuts. You know, this, is, this money should have gone to the children. Academies often will want to move on more expensive teachers because obviously an NQT and you qualify teachers half the cost. And we're very concerned about the way that our more experienced teachers may not be valued in the same way. We're particularly concerned about basic things like the hours we work. Teachers already do 67 hours, yeah, but at least we have some protection under the school teachers' paying conditions, which is known as the 1265 hours, that we can't be forced to work on Saturdays. If we do, we do it for the love of our job. Academies don't have to abide by that. There is an academy chain up in East London that have announced that they are going to withdraw all work sick pay. When an academy takes over a school, it takes over the school for 125 years. That's the lease. So any promises this academy is making to the staff, the parents, the children is worthless because in a year's time it could be taken over by another company. The best way of ensuring that our students have the very best education is to run it as a local authority school. We want to be re-inspected, we're very confident that Ofsted would turn up tomorrow, we'd show what a good school we are. We think on the basis of that the order should be revoked. We had called uh, three days of strike action. I mean, obviously you can imagine that we don't take those decisions lightly, but we had to temporarily suspend the day today. There was some confusion with the council about whether our strike was legal. Now we've clarified that our strikes are completely legal. We will be carrying on with our industrial action. The GMB are out on the 29th of November, which we understand is the case, then teachers in this school will not be crossing their picket line. We think it's really important that we all stand together on this one. So yeah, I think we can assume that the school will be shut on the 29th of November. Three years ago we had a, our old head retired, a new head came in, she came in with a mission to academise. Uh, the parents, community and staff uh, fought a really vigorous campaign and she left after nine months and we were still standing and not on the academy. Dominic Harrington, the Regional Schools Commissioner, he has the power. He could revoke the order tomorrow, and in cases of 16 schools, orders have been revoked. I think they thought, oh, it's a forced academisation, that's it, you're just going to roll over. Well, we haven't rolled over, we refuse to roll over, we're going to win. I'm going to the other side. I'm going to the other side. It's not one, Kate and I, Kate. No, no.